Well, it's something really different. Violence continues in Syria. President Assad massacres his own people. The calls are growing louder for President Obama to intervene. How do Muslim Americans feel about this? How could it play out in the November election? Joining us now is Zudi Jassa. He's the president of the American Islamic Forum for Democracy. Zudi, welcome to the program. Well, it's nice to be with you in person. It's, first, it's yes, indeed, uh, uh, across the table yeah. here. I want to talk about the Muslim vote, first of all. Before we do Syria, let's talk about the Muslim vote in America. Mm -hmm. Does it skew either side of the political aisle? Well, it's interesting, I think, because the Islamist groups that uh, are more well-funded and uh, have been campaigning the victimization mantra, they've, they've skewed them much more to the left and to the Democrats. Last election was over 90% for Obama. What about this and election? I think this election is probably going to be the same because... Ninety percent uh, of American Muslims will vote Democrat. I believe so. That's what Why? the statistics show. It's because they have, uh, the left has been able to paint themselves as the protectors of Muslim rights and civil rights and that the right is against Muslims and anti-Islam and anti-Muslims. And that's why, you know, in my book, The Battle for the Soul of Islam, yeah. I'm talking about the fact that actually the conservative ideas of liberty and freedom and why my family came here to America and why I served in the military is the best protector of our faith and actually the liberation of Iraq and Afghanistan and the the movement for the freedom agenda is actually much more in Muslim interest and we've let the Islamist groups that put us all into one political group like the Muslim Brotherhood does in right. Egypt is not in the interest of Islam and the civil war is actually within our mindsets. Total uh, number of Muslims in America, what is it? Four uh, million? Three to four million. Three yes. to four million. The Islamists say it's much more than that. Oh yeah, they'll double that and tell you it's seven to eight million. Where, what's the ethnic background of that three to four million? Is it Pakistan? 30 North to 40 Africa? percent African American, uh, 30 to 40 percent Indo-Pakistani, and then the rest, uh, 20 percent Arabic and uh, Caucasian and many from Europe and Russia. Okay. Now there's lots of calls for America to do more in Syria, specifically to get rid of the Assad regime. Let me go to an extreme. Let's suppose that President Obama ordered the droning, that would be saying, mm -hmm. you kill Assad with a drone. What would American Muslims say about that? Well, I think you'd be surprised that the vast majority now, because of the fact that the Syrian example is one of a people by themselves trying to get rid of the yoke of, of a military oppression that's just been shooting people in the streets, massacring them, it would be looked upon like Kosovo was looked upon, where the Bosnians today celebrate what America did there. Now, you said, you but said it took the Syrians, in a Syrian, people of uh, Syrian descent in America, Muslims of Syrian descent, they would approve of that. I would say nine, over 98% of the Syrian Americans I All know. Right, what about the other Muslims? That would be... 70 80 percent of the Muslims in America would they approve of that uh, I hope so I, I don't know if it's they? been studied yeah the thing is I think they it will be uh, regarded as an attack by an American president on a Muslim leader wouldn't it that's the sad thing because the anti-Americanism the the campaigning from they're not watching CNN and Fox and ABC and they're watching Al Jazeera they're watching Syrian TV Egyptian TV so the mantra they get is that America is never up to good and that's why we need to change that narrative that so many times, our, I mean, when I served in the Navy, I, our ship went to Somalia. We, uh, you know, served in, in trying to free these nations of their oppressors. And I never felt our military was doing anything negative. But yet, the vast majority of American Muslims, I don't think, are getting the right picture as far as what our brave soldiers are doing. Well, the, you gave the Palestinians a nice little picture uh, with the United Nations, the president yeah. did. I'm wondering if that's going to hurt him. Zudi Jassa, what a pleasure it is to have you with us here in New York. And we appreciate you being here. Thank you, sir. Thank you, doctor. Next. Uh, the